y'all, why are they driving so damn close to my van that's on the side of the road? Like, they were so close. I literally only was able to take like three steps out into the road. And I, oh my God, y'all. My life literally flashed before my eyes. I really thought I was about to get taken out of this world. You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious, and I ain't. You know the vibes. It's Jay. What's going on, Jay Squad? Plum Squad, it's your girl Jay. You already know. Welcome back to Jay Vibes, where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. I already said my grace. Let me just take a bite because, oh, this shit smells so good. It looks so good. This is my breakfast. It's a sockeye salmon and eggs. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Really good. So the whole point of this video, you guys, I want to give you a really simple story time. I don't really care to eat the skin. If you've seen me make my last bet on live, then you already know what's up. But if you haven't, now you know what's going on. Mm. Okay, PSA. Hold on. That's why I... That Florida's natural orange juice remind me to never ever get that again. Tropicana, me always and forever. All right, so PSA, I do not work for Amazon anymore. I work at FedEx, FedEx Ground to be exact. Cause you know you got the express, I'm at FedEx Ground. So this story time is going to be about a time when I got ran the fuck over while working with FedEx. Now I know I make it sound so harsh and so cruel, 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 but thank the Lord, I'm okay. You know, it was one of them days where I had a lot of shit to get done. And a lot meaning in 200 stops. I'm really not sure about the package count, but it had to be like 300 packages, no cap. When I seen that, I was like, oh, we gotta hustle today. We gotta get it today because, you know, I want to be off at a reasonable time. It's so good. I'm hustling. I done started my route at a good pace. Everything is going good. Everything is going great. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Usually, when I gotta make deliveries on the left side of the road, it all depends on how the road is set up. Now, if the road is kind of like a hill to the point where the oncoming traffic, like they might see my truck, of course, because I got a big ass truck, so they might see that, but I don't think, first of all, it's not, I don't, it's not that I don't think. It's not, it's not safe and it's not okay for a situation like that for me to park on the left side of the road. Because again, oncoming traffic coming up the hill, they're gonna probably have to, you know, probably, they're gonna have to get in the other lane and that's not really safe because they can't see cars until they get to the top of the hill and that's just a bad situation. I said all of that just to say like how I think when I'm parking on the other side of the road. So the road that I was on, no, it wasn't a hill, but still, I did not park on the left side of the road. I was like, you know what? I could park right here on the right and I don't mind crossing the damn street. It wasn't a busy street. I'm like, you know what? Let me just park here, find a package and get out. Mm. Yeah, I gotta eat my food before it get cold, the AC on. You know, eggs don't, temperature don't last long. So I parked my truck. 
I go to the bag, I'm looking for this package. And to be honest, I can't find the package. Like I could not find the package. So I'm, I'm in there for like a good like two, three minutes. But I finally find it. So as I'm walking back to the front of the van, inside the van, I'm walking back up to the front to get out. I look at my camera, which shows the bag. I don't see nothing. I check my camera, I, I check my mirror to see if I see oncoming traffic. I don't see nothing. So I get out the van, y'all, and I just been in that mode all day, like get out and you know, get to it. So like, I hit the corner of the van, the walk in front of the van, literally like, I look, I know I look. I look because I'm still looking. I look and I didn't see nothing, but I'm so glad that I continued to still look as I was moving because that damn white Lexus SUV, whatever, that thing come, came out of nowhere, you guys. That car came out of nowhere. Is that the damn pest control? No, I don't think so. I'm walking, why he over there? I'm sorry. If you was to watch my other video, you know I'm waiting. I'm waiting on this, this man. Or I don't know if it's gonna be a man or a woman. I'm just waiting on the damn pest control services before noon. Anywho, I'm so sorry I got I got off track because that threw me off. Because they really are like delaying my day for today. But anywho, so I'm looking as I'm moving and I'm glad I'm looking because like I said, that car came out of nowhere, y'all. First of all, why are they driving so damn close to my van that's on the side of the road? Like, they were so close. I literally only was able to take like three steps out into the road. And I, oh my God, y'all. My life literally flashed before my eyes. Like, no cap at all. Thank God, like I say, I seen them when I did because I was only able to take one step back. So I did boop, boop. Oh, I do boop, boop. Wait, boop, boop, boop. No, I'm left handed. So I went left, right, left, was only able to put my left foot back. Y'all, my left foot, like my toes, like my whatever the longest toe is. Okay, maybe the longest three toes. Them, they got ran over. But my right foot, y'all, they ran over my foot. Like if this was my ankle, like I ain't got no foot and I can't show y'all. <laughs> Y'all, they ran over my foot. Like, they were so on my foot that I had tire marks on my socks. Not only that, the car, like, you can, you know for a fact that they ran over something because the car wasn't even on four wheels. It was like, it was like this. The neighbor across the street seen it. She came out and was like, oh my God, are you okay? And I was like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Like, that shit happened so fucking fast and I think like my adrenaline was going, my heart was pumping, I was scared, I was nervous. That I didn't really like feel it instantly. Yeah, I still delivered that damn package. It's crazy because like the car stopped. Cause I, I think they were confused on what happened, but they know they, they know they had did this. And the wife probably was like, why you just go that speed bump so fast? And he probably was like, it wasn't a speed bump. We just went over a speed bump. So that's why I don't think, thank God, it was like a speed bump, like maybe 25 feet before my truck. Um, So they just went over a speed bump, but then they were getting their speed back up. So they had to be going like 20 miles per hour, maybe 25, something like that. So, um. They stopped in the middle of the road. They backed up. And this is how I know they wasn't really paying attention to what the fuck was going on because when they stopped, I was already across the street and delivering that package. Then when I noticed that they were backing up, so then when I noticed that they were backing up, I said, okay, let me just walk and go let them know that I'm okay. So as I'm walking on the sidewalk, you know, they're backing up in the street. They passed me. So I'm like, okay, let me cross the street. I cross the street. The man, it was in their, their older, you guys. The man was driving. He didn't even get out or put his window down or say anything. Like he just 
the wife got out that was sitting in the passenger side. She got out. She starts walking to my van and talking like, are you okay in there? I said, yep, I'm right behind you. I said, I'm fine, I, I'm fine. She said, are you sure? I said, I'm fine. First of all, I know y'all in the comment section cussing me out right now. First of all, my job does not, the, these delivery jobs, I don't know how UPS work. I may, I may need to go, on, go ahead and go over there. But these delivery jobs, especially when you're like contracted through FedEx or contracted through Amazon, it's not necessarily you being contracted, it's the, it's the third party, it's the owner, okay? They have a contract with these people to deliver their, their packages, okay? So yeah, they get the drive vans with the logo on it, they get to the get uniforms with their name on it, whatever case they may be. But, these contractor jobs don't be having no, no benefits. Now, Amazon did. Amazon did. And I got a whole story time for them. But not, not today because I need to like it ain't gonna be no food. It's gonna be it's gonna be I, <clears throat> it's gonna be uh grown up beverages over that story story time, okay? But um yeah, so the company that I'm with right now, I do not have benefits. So I'm like, okay, go to the hospital to get a, a big ass fucking bill for them to only tell me to ice it. Yeah, no, I don't wanna do that. Number two, I didn't wanna tell my job because I just had, I had a, a I had a, a lit weekend prior to me, you know what I'm saying, going to work for that week. So if they would've had to hit me with the, you know what I'm saying, I don't want a chance losing my job. So I was like, yeah, no. I'm like, you know, just let me thug it out. Like, my foot, y'all, was on fire. Fire. I was so scared. I did not want to look at it. My people was like, what's your foot look like? Like, how is it? I'm like, yo, I'm too scared to look at it right now. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna finish my route. I'm gonna, and then, the, um, y'all, I had to work both of my jobs that day. So I was on my foot all fucking day. And I literally did not look at my foot until the end, end, end of the night. And by the grace of God, y'all, cause that could have been my body. Like if I did not look, if I would have just kept going, if I wasn't even able to step back, my legs, would have been broke. That for sure, I already broke my left leg before, so that impact on my left leg again, I would have definitely broke my shit, for sure. My hip would have been bruised like hell. Like, they would have hit me like that. I, my head would have definitely like hit the hood of the car. I would have been knocked off my feet. I ain't gonna say I would have been up in the air. Nothing like that, but I would have definitely been knocked off my feet, and then, if they didn't hit the brake on time, when 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 I would have came off my feet and went back to the ground, they could have they could have ran me the fuck over. I mean, shit. That shit that shit is crazy. Like when I replay that shit in my mind, that shit is so fucking crazy. Which really like got me like thinking now when I go to work, like yo, it ain't even worth it. Like, slow down, slow down. Like if I, if I don't get out and hit. The, the sidewalk, don't take off, okay? But I really do like take my time now. So now when I ever, whenever I do park on the right, but I gotta cross the street, y'all, I'll, I'll peek around the bend like that. Like no lie, I'll be like, don't take my head off. Cause I ain't getting ran over again. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Y'all, my whole foot was on fire. Uh. I could, I could still like run and of course walk on it, but it was like that motion. It was that motion of like when I put that pressure down on the ground and actually like, you know, flexing that ankle. I felt that, I felt that for like some days, a week. And then it's crazy because like I would go home and I would ice it. But then it's like the pain, instead of being on the top, it was on the bottom. Like right there where your toes would be at. So, I said all of that to say, you guys, I'm just so thankful. Because I really thought I was about to get taken out of this world. And it's shit crazy because like I ain't really been. 
a hundred. You know what I mean? I be 89, I be 63, I be like 38, 38 hot. <laughs> But I ain't been like all the way 100, like all the way together, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. So like when that shit happened, I was like, yo, I don't know. It's just like, it just hit me different. I was just like, I was like, I was really numb. You know what I mean? But, uh, damn. I had to give y'all that story time. I'm full. I know my ass is cold. I know y'all probably got tired of me pausing and whatever, 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 whatever. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please make sure you give this video a like, a thumbs up. Make sure your bell is turned on. Make sure you are subscribed. Get someone new to subscribe to my channel today. I know while I was gone, you know what I'm saying? I was losing subscribers, hell, losing money too. But it's all good. Like, I'm not tripping about none of that because I already know I'm going to get all that right back, okay? And you also know, like, I bring the vibes, girl, boy. Whoever you is looking at me, <laughs> whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. And um, no matter what's going on, like I make, I'm more satisfied and more content and stable and happy when I rock with myself. So, you know what I'm saying? You one of them type of people, you ain't alone. You know what I mean? And if you aren't one of those type of people, but you know somebody like that, just know that like you absolutely do matter and play a big part in their life. So I just wanna throw that out, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you, today you guys, today make sure you try your best. And I'm signing out to the next video, you guys. Peace. Nah, I ain't conceited. I'm a different breed. Catch you slipping, best belief. I don't need no reason. I'ma cut the ties, ho. Turn your wife to my ho. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J vibes, you know the vibes, you know the fuck going on. And I'm out this bitch.